Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello. Okay, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Coming to you once again with a wallpaper removal job. I'm gonna give you one tip in this video that is going to save you a ton of your time and consequently, therefore, a lot of money. Whether you're a contractor or a do-it-yourselfer. But especially if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you work all week and then you got Saturday to do your work, right? You got to produce, right? You got to get you got to get a lot of work out of your time. I am removing a mid-century, and I should say mid-20th century, right? Wall wall covering, which is grass cloth, which is giving me an exceptionally difficult time with removal after soaking. I know when wallpaper comes down easy. You wet it with spray bottles. You take it down with a garden sprayer. But this is not the case. I'm losing time on the job. My time is worth money. My customer's time is worth money. You want to get in and get out professionally. How do you do it? Well, if you're a professional, you know what that means. You got to buy the right tool. Tools are everything. The right tool is everything for the job. But if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you want to save as much money as you can without being imprudent with your time because time is money, right? So let me show you what I suggest that you do. If you just bought a house, and you need to get your wallpaper down in multiple rooms. This is well worth the money. Let me show you. You're looking at $10, you're looking at $3. You're looking at $249. I am a painter. I would not be using this to paint walls in a house. This is an airless sprayer that I purchased from Harbor Freight. If you live in a country where you have low-end tools, like we do, in the USA, we have Harbor Freight and uh, Northern Tools, I believe it's called. They're low-end tools, no doubt about it. But I'm gonna tell you something. For $250, this thing is gonna do the work of these things in literally one third of the time, if not better. Okay, as I'm squeezing, and forget about the strength that it takes to get these things going pumping, squeezing. I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna save lots of time because I need to get out of here. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I mentioned it's a paint sprayer, but as you know, when you spray paint, you can also spray water. And so I'm going to use this to spray water on the walls. So let's turn it on for the first time. I made all the connections. Hopefully everything's nice and snug. If it's like our American made tools, prime is down, and we're going to prime it first to get the system filled up with our material, which in this case is water. And then when the sound changes, we're gonna put it on paint, okay? I'm gonna put it, I mean, on spray. Let's see. Okay, let's get this thing on. You can see the tube is full. No air. That's the main thing. Okay. Next. Turn this over to spray. And let's put this on the spray. Okay. So we can see that there's no air bubbles in that. All, all it's telling me is that the system is, all the air bubbles are out, came out through here, right? We sucked in water and we displaced the air. 
Okay, so are we ready to spray? This is a question. There you go. You hear that? Okay, so here's the big thing that I'm bragging about. Keep it on low spray. Test it out. I just made the connection tighter. It was leaking. Okay, we're in business now. Now with the sprayer, literally 10 feet from the wall. Now, needless to say, the electric in the room should be off so that that has no power. Or any wall in which you're working. So when I work on this wall, I will remove this electric source over here for obvious reasons now look at the look at the space i can cover now you know if you're a contractor there's the liability with the floor before i took this job i asked the customer what is the floor she said terrazzo this is a 1950 manufactured home when i say manufactured i don't mean a manufactured home i mean it was built in in the 50s Look at the time. Can anybody dispute the time that you'll save here? Okay, let me show you something. Now, let's go to caveman days. Watch this. See the difference, folks? You get the picture, right? Right or wrong? After all, folks, it's about, for a contractor making money, right? Saving time. You're getting in and out and making a customer very happy. You think you're gonna do this with a, a pump sprayer? No way. You're not doing it. You're not achieving the same goal. And if you're a homeowner, do it yourself or it's a win-win. You buy that tool, by the time you get finished in one room, I'm telling you, the tool paid for itself. Because if you're still pulling down paper at 6.30 at night on a Saturday, because you had to change the water bottle 50 times, literally 50 times, fill it up again. Well, you've lost a lot of time. I have five gallons of water in that bucket. Okay, 250 bucks, it's worth it. Okay, I'll conclude there because I think you got the message of this video. If you're removing wallpaper and your floor is not opposed to a little wetness, I'm gonna say it's only a little more than those pump sprayers. You may not wanna be spraying this in a house where there's new carpet, I mean, it's just, it's just something you have to consider. But if your floor is not opposed to receiving a little wetness here, I mean, what do we got here? Not a lot. This is what we do when we take down wallpaper with those too. So I think the choice is right. That opposed to that is money saved and time saved. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. If you like, please click on like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.
And that's just with the spraying that you saw in the video. That's it. Nothing prior. Okay. Now we'll get the backing off by applying more water and proceed accordingly. Look at how much water I can get into a square foot in a small amount of time. Check this out. And nothing's spraying back at me. There's nothing excessively going on the floor. It's being soaked into this grass cloth. Can you imagine having to wet the, the backing now, again, with the pump sprayer? Tremendous time killer, right? Let me just show you the benefit of applying so much water at once. Look, look how easily it comes off. I mean, come on, you don't want to be spending your time removing this dark one and this one separately. If you put enough water, they both come down together. It's just amazing. You know? That's the name of the game. And if you can tolerate it, shut your air conditioner off. I'm going to tell you why. Your AC is drying the wallpaper that you wet. Okay? Now, you may not be able to tolerate having the air off, and I understand. But just understand, the wall that gets the air conditioner the most is going to be your hardest wall to remove, okay? So you may wanna just turn off the air when you're removing the wallpaper on the wall that gets coolest, you know? So, it's just something you may not realize when you're taking it down, that your air conditioner is fighting against you because it's dehumidifying your room, right? Your air conditioner is a dehumidifier. And if it takes the humidity out of the air caused by your, the mist of your, of your sprayer, then certainly it's going to make your wallpaper dry up. And, right, it's gonna make your job harder. So if you keep the room humid, you can have two benefits. Your wallpaper will come down. And if you get on the scale after you finish removing the wallpaper, I guarantee you, you'll lose three to five pounds. This wall has been soaking for half an hour. And let's see what miracle we've been given here. Look at that, both layers come with it. 
Oh, friends, come on. I highly, highly suggest. I like to help people who watch my channel. Look at this, folks. Spend half your Saturday removing this junk. Get out after that, don't waste the day. Spend the 250 bucks, look at this stuff. The whole thing came off, you see? Earlier in the video, you saw me struggling over here with one layer, then the second layer. Not so much struggling, but certainly spending time, right? But this one, before I attack this wall, I hit this wall, let it soak. And then look at all that that came down. You know, I want you to have the same success. Look at that. Of course, um, somebody put uh, crown over the, over the uh, grass cloth. My guess is that this grass cloth has been up, I'm gonna take a guess, more than 30 years. I mean, I can tell that the adhesive that was used in this is, is not around anymore. Look at that. And folks, I did nothing off camera. I simply let it soak, okay? Wow. So the lady has me removing another wall in a different room. I know exactly what I'm going to do to take it down. I'm just gonna wet it, soak it, and I don't gotta deal with the, the, uh, the backing. So it came off with one, with the, with the front of it, the shell and the backing, you know, it's beautiful. Total amount of time. Of spraying and removing. One hour and 48 minutes. Need I say any more? Get it. 250 bucks. Done. Heading over there within 15 minutes after I pick up this garbage.